Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the optimization technique. Today we will discuss about what is the PERT, that is a project evaluation and review technique. That is a part of this network analysis. All of us knows that the PERT is a very popular technique in the management techniques, which is used for planning as well as controlling the projects. So far we have uh, discussed there are the two kinds of the network analysis. One is called as the critical part method that is abbreviated as a CPM. Second one is called as the PERT. What is the difference? Basically difference between them is in the PERT, uh, sorry, in the CPM, which we have discussed in our previous lectures. In this CPM method, uh, the, whatever the completion time to complete the activity are always be given in deterministic in nature. However, in this PERT, the completion time is always be the uncertain or you can say it's a unknown. Whenever there is a un uncertain, so it means we have to calculate their probability or you can say we have to calculate the probability of the activity to completion their time periods. So how we can complete this activity and how we can compute this probability that is the analysis of this part that we will see in our this lecture. Myself Dr. Garg working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute. You can simply contact me or else simply follow this link for finding the various videos on the optimization technique. In this part analysis, the time is one of the most crucial factor and considered as a variable because it is a random variable and it's a probability. And we can see uh, in our day-to-day -day life, there are the many examples where the part analysis will work. For example, as we know that the human behaviors are always fluctuation from, per, uh, it vary from person to person from the time to time. So in order to complete any particular job, so that different person may take any different times. Also, you can see that there are the different resources are there, so which also varies from the time to time. Resources means that you can say the budget or the manpower and so on. Also, you can see that there are the several environmental factors, local environments, local effects, which may affect their activities are there, which definitely changes from the time to time. Also, the research based activities are usually the uncertain in nature. So how you can handle all these examples in our day to day life, we will see this part is a useful technique in which all these non-deterministic natures are handled. Whenever you are talking about this part analysis, we will talk about these three because this is an uncertain time. So we will discuss about the three times. First one is called as the optimistic. What is the meaning of the optimistic is that is the shortest possible time to complete the activity if everything is going well. So what is the time minimum time you need to complete the activity? What is the most likely time is that is the most occurring duration of the activity so if it is not going well so it may happen it may be uh, it may be more than of t0 so it is the most occurring time what is the pessimistic time is that is the maximum time or you can say the longest time is required to perform the activity under the extremely bad conditions are there so if i say if you are able to understand this lecture so how you can understand this lecture if you are able to understand this within a five minutes that's the optimistic if you are take uh, six to seven minutes are there that's the uh, most likely and if you take uh, 12 minutes are there so it means that's a uh, pessimistic time is there based on these three times that is optimistic t0 tm is for the most likely tp is the pessimistic we are defining the expected values because this is a random variable that is follows based on this beta distribution so all these times whatever the t0 tm all are follows the uh, beta distributions are there. So if you go about this probability and stat lectures, you can understand about this uh, beta distributions and their expected value that is a mean is defined like here. Standard deviation is given as nothing but what is the longest time TP, what is the smallest time T0 that's the range are there. Once you know the standard deviation, you can compute the variance. How you can solve these problems are there, we will discuss with a three step rule. The first step is we will draw the networks and compute the T0 and the sigma by using this formula is B. After that, once we will complete the network, we will find the critical path by using the forward and the backward differences. And finally, we will compute the probabilities as here, where TE is the expected value which we compute here. Capital small d is the required time required that we needed to estimate. How you can compute the probability in the path? So for that, we need like here, if you want to calculation, you will get here. So make sure that all are of the less than sign because this is this area start from the minus infinity. So you can read these values from the Z table, which is easily available at the end of the each of the books, statistics or operation research. So look at that the 1.23. So this is the 1.2 and 0.3. So this is the value for the 1.23. So you can write like 
here this is the answer of this similarly minus 2.86 this is the minus 2 point and 6 is my here so the answer is my this similarly now it's a greater than sign so it can be written as of the less than of this so it can be written here now you can see it's a less than sign so 0.91 so 0 0.9 is here 0 0.1 is here so this 0 0.8186 is the required answer so this is the way we can solve that now let's see how we can solve this we will discuss the three to four examples are there so that you are able to understand easily here you first draw the, what is the project network and the critical path and then we will see what is the project length are there how you can draw these networks are there so you can see you have to start from the 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. So you have to draw like here. After that, now it's a 2 to 5, 3 to 5, 2 to 5 and 3 to 5. What is the meaning of that? Whatever you have writing here, it will join them. So 2 to 5, 3 to 5, then 4 to 6 and 5 to 6. 4 to 6 and 5 to 6, they can join like here. After that, 5 to 7 and 6 to 7, it can join like here. Now how you can compute these times are there? This can be time computed with the help of this values t e this is computed with the help of these two equations so therefore these values are nothing but my 5 1 2 2 1 2 3 is my 5 1 2 3 is my 5 and so on once you are completing this network then now we will uh, find the earliest occurrence time that is the earliest occurrence time i had denoted as of the this uh, square and the other one is called as the latest occurrence time i denoted as a circle so we can start from here and we have to firstly find the latest occurrence time for each of these nodes are there. How you can find them? That's again very simple that we already discussed in this critical part method. But we will see you have to start from here. The 0 plus 2 that is my 2. 0 plus 5 is my 5. 0 plus 3 is my 3. Now you can see now there are the two ways you can reach at a point 0.5 either from the 2 or 3 so you have to take this value as of the maximum 2 plus 2 is a 4 5 plus 6 is 11 so which one is the maximum is 11 so you can write like here and so on similarly you can see 11 plus 7 18 3 plus 5 8 so which is the maximum is 18 11 plus 7 is 18 18 plus 8 is 26 maximum is 26 now you can find this uh, circles that is called as the our, uh, latest occurrence time so in that case we will start from the previous one last value same as such now the from here it the value of this is reaching from here so 26 minus of it when you go from this to this that's a plus and from from backward is called as the negative 28 minus 26 minus 8 is 18 now you have to 5 start from these two points are there so take the minimum of this 18 minus 7 11 26 26 minus 7 is my 19. Which one is the minimum is 11. So it can be written here. Similarly for this side, this is only single line. So 11 minus 2 is nothing but the 9. From here, 11 minus 6 is a 5. From here, 18 minus 5, 13. And since there are the 3, so take the minimum of this. 9 minus 2, 7. 5 minus 5, 0. 4, sorry, uh, 13 minus 3 10 so which one is the minimum is 0 so this is here now once you are completing all these takes then you have to find this critical path how you can take them you have to look about this these values which have the same values like uh, this is the same this is not the same so it is not the critical path so you start from here and here also look about that whenever they are same and also the difference between them must be this one so you can see this is the same so this is the first critical line after reaching here now 5 5 11 11 same and the difference is also with the 6 so this is the line after that 11 11 and 26 26 they are same but the difference is not the 7 so it is not be there 11 11 18 18 difference is 7 so this is the line and this is the line so this is my critical path 1 3 5 6 7 is my critical path once you are finding the critical path then we have to find this uh, expected project length that is what is the length of the 1 3 5 what is the length of the 3 5 6 what is the length of the 5 6 here and this is the so if you add them you will get as a 26 similarly you can find the variances of this so variance is by 4 by 9 this number is obtained as 4 by 9 plus 1 plus this plus this 
and the standard deviation is computed as square root of this. Once you are finding the here, then our task is to find these two more questions. What is the probability that at least four weeks, more than four weeks and so on. These are the values we computed. Te, that is my here, 26 and sigma is my 2.17. Now what is that? The, what is the first part is at least four weeks. So what is the meaning of that? At least four weeks here. So our target at least four weeks earlier than of the expected weeks. So what is the meaning of that? At least four weeks earlier than 26. So what is the meaning of that? If it is a 26, so at least 24 weeks, it must be of the greater than sign of 22. On the other hand, no more than the four weeks later than of this. So no more than four weeks, that is a no more than of 30 here. Now, once you are here, you can write like this way. So this will be greater than of, so it is a greater than sign. So 22, what is the value of that e is 26. So you can write like here. This is sigma is my 2.17 here. Now I can write here. So, but our target is basically to find this value. Okay. So whatever I get this answer, I can subtract them one from here. Now, how you can find this value? You can go to the table. I need a minus 1.84. So you can see minus 1.84 is my this. So therefore my required answer is not at least of the four weeks earlier is my here. This is one minus of this is the required answer. Similarly, for the second part, what is that? Your target is to write here. You can convert them into this and is here. Now it's a 1.84. If you want to do this, there is on your choice. If you don't, then again, it's no problem. 1.84 is a plus 1.84. You can see from the table 0, 1 and so on. 1.84 is this. So this is the right answer. Look at another one is if the project duration is 29 weeks, what is the probability of not meeting the due date? What is the meaning of that not meeting the due date? That's a greater than of this week. So again, once you are writing here, you have to convert into this form that is of Z is greater than of 29 minus 26 upon 2.17. So after the calculation, you will get as 1.38. So from again, from the table, you can see 1.38. Since we need here in this figure, it's a less than sign. So it can return as of the one minus, what is the 1.38 is? 19.62 that's the required answer look at the second example again you have to firstly draw the network and then you have to take about the 30 and then answer so here how you can draw the networks you can see this one and two are my independent there is no preceding events are there so you can start from here this is my event now once a will complete the c and d will start c d and e but you can see the b and c must be joined them so it means i can B and C must be joined. You can see these are the activities for here. Why I should write here? Because B and C must be joined. Once B and C join, it start from the E, F. But you can see E and F must also join. E, F and G. So how you can draw that? E and F must be joined. So you can write like F has here. Now after that B and C is there. Now G will start once the D. So here is a G. Here is the G, but E, F and G all must be combined together. So what is the meaning of that? If I join here like this way, E, this is E, F and G all must join here. And after joining, they will form as a H. How you can find these time periods are there? This is based on this TE. We can compute it, the values of the TE and Sigma square based on them. We can find here. Now we can compute these values are there. We can start from the zero. We can compute the values of this earliest sequence time. This is 0 plus 5. Now here is there are the two arrows. We can take the maximum of this 0 plus 14, 5 plus 9, 14. So they are the same thing are there. So we can compute like here. Once you are there, then we can start from the previous one. It's a 29. This is 29 minus 5 is my 24. Now this 4 is 25 minus 4 is 20. For this, there are the two things. We need this 20 minus 5, 15 is 5. 24 minus 8 is 16. So the minimum is 5 and so on. Once you compute them, then you have to find this critical path. This is a 0. This is the same. The difference is also same. So you can see here. This is not same. We can skip them. This is the same. Difference is also the 15. This is also the same. This is also the same. So this is my critical path. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6.
or one two it means let's say a d g e based on them you can add its expected values and their variances now how you find this 30 are there so your target is this sigma and this so you can convert them into here this is my 30 minus 29 divided by 2.45 so what will happen if you solve them after the calculation you will get as a 0.41 so what is the value of the 0.41 you can see from the table again so this is 0.4 this is 0.1 so the right answer of is here this look at the third part is there if the company manager wants to be 99 percent sure the project will complete it on the schedule time and how many weeks before you can decide them so that's the probability is given to you so it means you have to firstly you have to convert them into the z so what will happen this is this minus of here so now you have to look about the table and you have to look about the table and look at the values corresponding to which is a 0.99 you can see here this is the value which is nearest to the 0 0.9 what is the value is 2.303 so 2.33 it means this value is my 2.33 so from here can you find the value of the capital T yes you can easily do that this is here but here the question arises is how many week week before them so what is the value of that T is 29 is given to you so you have to subtract this week that is a 30 weeks before them so the right answer is my 4.7 is there look at the last example here so again firstly you have to draw this one and you have to find this probability lies between 35 to 40 so now there are the two things a and b so you start from here this is a required target so and this is a network you can easily draw now this is the values uh, you can find these values are there how you can find them this is the value of the optimistic this is the value of the tm this is the tp so you can compute them as a of te and sigma and write them now you can compute the value here start from the zero this is the value of the eight this is a single value so this is the six now this is a single value so 8 plus 5 is 13 and so on so once you are completing this you will get all these values are here similarly from the reverse side you start from the 37 you find the value of here and so on so once you will compute them you will get here now what is the critical path is they are same they are same the difference is 8 also so this is the critical path this is not the critical path this is the critical path and so on so once you will complete this is there and similarly based on them you can add them values and their sigma is there now our target is to find them so how you can find them again you have to use these values you have to convert them into here this is 35 minus 37 upon 5 this is z this is 40 minus 37 upon 5 so what will happen what is the answer of this it will be minus 2.5 and 3.5 so you can see i can write this portion as of this minus 0 0.4 is this plus this is my of uh, here but you can see from the table we need these values are there how you can see these values here this is minus infinity but the first value that is you can see in this if you draw the graph are here i need this value how you can find them if i find this complete value how you can write this value is this is z less than of the 0 0.6 and if i subtract up to here that is a jet less than 0.4 then i can get easily 0.4 and sorry this is minus 0.4 so what is the value of the 0 0.6 0 0.6 of here this is 0 0.7257 i can subtract this value of the minus 0 0.4 here 0.3446 so whatever you get is the required answer of this problem this is the this minus of this so this is the way you can solve this part problems are there this table you can easily obtain from there any of these statistics else you can simply write this line on this google we will see some more lectures on the optimization technique in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various video best of luck students